I would like to show you guys how to graph inequalities and um, I've already kind of gone over this again but I just want to specifically focus on graphing inequalities. So right now I have a linear equation that I've graphed and notice that I have the table of values but now I'd like to graph an inequality. So to graph an inequality it's very similar to graphing an equation um, however, I can do there, and, and, and remember that an inequality is saying y is less than a value or y is greater than a value. And probably the easiest way, because a, a lot of times what we try to do, and let me put in one more equation, is that we try to find a solution set um, to a system of inequality. So um, let me just put something in here like this. So. If I graph this, what I'm looking for um, usually is I'll have two, um, two inequalities and we'll have to shade um, for our solution set and then we're looking for a combined solution set. So right now I just have two linear equations entered in. And so let's assume that I'm looking for um, the inequality y is greater than uh, 3x plus 2. Now the easiest way to graph that inequality is to come in here and go down to the second option and I can do greater than y. Now greater than y, or I'm sorry, y greater than the expression, what I'm really saying is that this line that I graphed which is y, okay, is above that y value. So normally we would shade above. So what I, what I have here is I have like this little line, pretend that this is a graph and I want to shade above the line. And so I can do that by just hitting OK. When I do that, I'm going to shade above that line. Now if I scroll down to my second equation, uh, I'm going to change color on that because I didn't like the color. Um, but now let's assume that I want y is less than the expression that I have listed. So now I'm going to choose the option of shading what is below. So once I enter that in, what I'm saying is y is greater than 3x minus 2. And then for this inequality, I'm saying y is less than uh, negative 2x plus 1. So now when I graph this, I'll have two inequalities and then my solution set is where the two overlap. And so that's basically how we shade inequalities, or, or one way to shade inequalities. That's the way that I like to shade and graph inequalities.